Well, I hope it's going to work now. After driving 20 kilometers, I got the right seal kit for my injector pump. And I have the new O-ring on the shaft. Shaft is lubricated. Put a new gasket on the base of that, or seal. The hole is lubricated. Now to hook the little cold start spring on. Oops, oops. And carefully put it back together. All those springs. Luckily I got a no good pump that someone donated. It's all rusty as hell that I can use in case I forget. Well, now I got that injection, injection pump all put back together. Seems like I got it, got lucky. I didn't mark the little line that's on the throttle shaft to the throttle lever to synchronize it so when I put it back together, well, I must have got lucky somehow because it seems to be synchronized and seems to run normal. Yeah, it's running, but I feel stupid. The only way I got it running earlier today was push starting it. It would start instantly by push starting it, but I could crank it all day long and it, it wouldn't start. It was cranking great. So I just I just thought of something for a second. I remember I have these two wires, this gray one and this blue one. Blue one goes to the injector shutoff solenoid, injection pump shutoff solenoid, and the other one well, actually, the gray one connects to that blue one. The other one just goes to the exciter circuit on the alternator. Well, I connected them both there. And that's the B-plus constant for the park circuit on the wiper motor. So, I guess I just got a brain fart just a few minutes ago and said to myself, well, why is it running so perfect when you... Hi, kitty. Meow. Why is it running so perfect when you uh, push start it, but there's no way, even when it's hot, can you key start it? Then I thought to myself, I wonder if all the power shuts off to there during cranking, and it did. Well, that makes no difference for an alternator exciter in that circuit. So what I did was I took that wire to that little shutoff solenoid and found another key on, hot positive, key off, it goes off, and now it works. Boy, do I feel stupid. Simple as that. Yep, simple as that. So I made two dumb mistakes. One was there was more gas in the tank than I thought there was. There was about three gallons. But at least all that's cleaned out now, and it's pure diesel in there. And of course I hooked my solenoid wire up to the wrong circuit, and it confused the hell out of me. Now let's go for a test drive. And we're off. Oops, e-brake. Feels a lot like the old one, but quieter, not so clunky and bumpy and rattly and squeaky and all that stuff that old junkers are like. Hear that turbo? Yeah. We're ready to take on the world. One thing I did notice, since it has V6 springs on the front struts, uh, it sits really high in the front end now. The previous van had four cylinder springs in it. it gives me good ground clearance for off road at the farm, anyways. Still didn't get to the speedometer problem yet. Now that I finally got it driving for the first time, I'll work on that tomorrow. Oh, now I can save money. More 
here. <laughs> Home sweet home. Awesome. When I had backed it out of the garage the day I got it running, the first time, I did have the wire for the ignition solenoid bypassed on the injector pump, so that's why it started that day and didn't start the next day. It all makes sense now.